Hello everyone, Doki over here, and welcome to another Minecraft Dog Mod video. Today, as you can see, we are in Minecraft 1.12.2 with the Dog Mod Update 63, which is the latest version of the Dog Mod as of the time of this recording. And today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different than usual, and I'm going to try this and see how well it works. This might not work at all, but I'm going to create a new world. This is going to be survival, and I'm going to be speedrunning, building a TARDIS. So, this is going to be very interesting. I don't think anybody's done this before, but I've been seeing how uh, speedruns have been taking off a little bit on YouTube, so I figured why not apply this to the dog mod and see what happens. So, let's create this new world, and I believe we can start the timer as soon as I actually start moving around in the world. I don't have a timer on my computer. I don't know how to do that. So, I'm going to be adding one in post, and I'll be uploading an unedited version of this video, however long that's going to wind up being. Uh, just so that we can take a look at, uh, or just so that you guys can see how long it actually took me to do this, I'll be uploading an abbreviated edited version, but in the description of this video, I will have a link to the full version, which is going to be unlisted, however long that's going to take, so that you guys can see for yourselves that I actually did get this time. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. Um, I'll start the clock as soon as I start moving, and this is going to be interesting. Now, I have all of the materials I need to build a TARDIS actually broken down and figured out. I have all the numbers down so I know exactly what I need to obtain and we're going to need to mine a lot of ores and eventually go into the nether so that we can obtain some of the harder to get materials such as gas tiers and things like that. I think we need an eye of ender so we'll need blaze powder. Uh, this is going to be very interesting to do. I'm just going to cut down this tree to begin with. Let's go ahead and get some planks and quickly go through the update or go through the process, I, I can't get my words right right now, to actually build things. So let's go ahead, uh, get a pickaxe, and get started. So with this, we're going to go ahead and get some stone. And disclaimer, I've not actually tried speedrunning anything before. You know, let me get a shovel. It'll save time to just get a wooden shovel to do this. We'll see what this is like. We'll see what happens. This might be a terrible idea. I might not actually be able to finish this in a reasonable amount of time. But we'll see what happens. I don't know how long this is going to take. It was just an idea I had. It kind of came to me on a whim. So let's uh, keep going. We've got stone now. Let me go ahead and make a stone pickaxe. There we go. And let's get, uh, let's get a sword. I'm going to kill those pigs so we have some food. Because they are right here. So let's get these pigs. Oh, and we've got dead wolves. Just like my War of the Worlds survival mod video videos, my survival series. We have wolves around that are killing sheep, dead sheep. I said wolves, dead sheep. You guys know what I mean, right? But anyway, let's go ahead and get some more stone. And we are going to have to actually start doing a lot of mining. There's a lot of zaiton and redstone and iron, things like that that we're going to need. And I think mining is going to be the biggest part of this because that's where most of the resources come from. So we could just go ahead and just start mining for all those things and worry about the harder stuff later once we get some of the stuff that we need and i'm just gonna keep going down because we're gonna need gold and redstone things like that which are farther down so we're just gonna keep looking for that what is this is this coal yep okay let's get a torch going then and let's mine the rest of this we're gonna need more torches oh and there's some iron good we're gonna need that well, let's get these ores smelted, and I need a few more pickaxes. A lot of mining, and right here we have got some Zaiton 7. So we're going to go ahead and grab that, just one. They spawn in single blocks, or was I just that unlucky? Anyway, let's keep going down. And I've, like I said, I never even tried doing a proper speedrun before, so... I could have this all wrong. Anyway... I figure, you know, it's a good place to start, and I figured, let's see how well this works. Let's see if this can actually be done. So, I like uh, watching speedrunning videos with Minecraft. I like the dog mod. I figured, why not combine the two of these things together and see what happens, see what we get. So, the end all be all in Minecraft is killing the Ender Dragon. I figure the big thing in the dog mod is actually building a TARDIS. It's probably enough coal for now. Let's see if we can keep going down. So I thought it would be a lot of fun to just try to see how, if one can do it in a reasonable amount of time, if they really try, if that's the only thing we do when we go into the game is try to build a TARDIS and do absolutely nothing else. So I'm going to keep going till I hit bedrock. 
That's pretty much the idea. From there I can get diamonds and whatnot. Oh, ravine. There is a long ways to go down. Well, let's uh, let's mine into this ravine. This could be a this could be a good thing. We might actually find some exposed ores in here. Wow, right on top of it. And we'll have a good supply of obsidian down there for you to, to the Nether. Yeah, I'm liking this. Yeah, I'm gonna go into the bottom of this ravine. Bound to be some ores in here, things that we can grab. So, ah, and what have we got over there? Is that more zyton? I'm gonna mine over to that. I think we need a total of Z 10 Zyton 7 crystals. I went through all the numbers, so we're also going to need brass. We need ender pearls. Let's get that Zyton. There we go. Oh. Is that, uh, like the unrefined steel or whatever? We'll be grabbing that. We need that. There is a part of the TARDIS that requires... One of the things that goes into it that does require steel, so we do need a lot of that. Oh, and here's a cave. Oh, Auton. Jeez. Let's just get this guy out of the way as quickly as possible. Because he has a ranged attack. Here is a Suntaran. What do you guys drop? Ammo, anyway. Good old-fashioned survival encounter. Uh, just more coal. Okay, um... And here is our ravine. We are very close to the bottom now. Oh, I hear a witch. Hoping for some clockwork droids, because I think brass is going to be one of the harder things to get. Okay, and we are in. Let's check for mobs. Oh, there's gold. Excellent. I will come up for that. Oh, and I need iron uh, to mine the gold. Okay. That is important. Uh, yeah, okay. Um... Actually, I have my iron in my furnace that I left all the way up there. Let's head back up to that. Though it is a bit of a time waster to be heading back up here. Should have brought it down with me. Okay, we got our iron here. I'll need to make a pickaxe. Let's get some food going. Now we can get that gold. Got some food here, which is great. And I will take this crafting table with me. Okay, let's keep going back down. We've already got some gold. So we do require a clock for uh, crafting the TARDIS. And that is what this gold is going to be used for. Oh, there's some redstone. Great. Gonna need a little bit of this as well. Electronic circuits and... Uh, I think we need a compass. We need a few things for that. And for the clock, of course. So, And yeah, I think this is steel. I might just get a single block of it, but is there a way I can grab that without losing it? Let's grab that. Unrefined steel ingot. Yeah, we can get that. We can get steel from that. All right. Let's see anything else that we need down here. Maybe not. Maybe I should go back into that cave. Continue exploring it. We might find more in there. More stuff. More mobs, because like I said, we at least need to find some clockwork droids. Get some brass. So we'll do that. We got the redstone now. We've got iron. There is a cave up there. So let's see if I can get over to that. And there's that witch. Let's go ahead. Ow, I'm poisoned. This could be bad. Gotcha. Oh, great. There's more steel. Okay. Oh, it's a successful encounter with a witch anyway. Uh, more steel, which is great. We're going to need that. Take this iron. And that's the end of that. So, these are not as big, ca big of caves as I was hoping for. But it is a good start. I'm going to keep exploring this ravine. You might find something interesting. And I see grass, which means this might be exposed to uh, to the surface. Hey, I think I see diamonds. 
Let's head over there. I remember back in the days when the TARDIS was just uh, wood, eight wood, and a beacon in the center. I would not be speedrunning for that. Although I'm sure somebody's done that speedrun, uh, getting the wither and killing it. I'm sure that's already been done. Uh, is this cr Sonic? Yeah, if this is uh, this. Yeah, Sonic Crystal. We need that. I only need one Sonic Crystal, so we got that out of the way. Great. If I can get a few more diamonds, I can head to the Nether. Uh, I might want to invest in an Iron Sword before I do that. And we got some great caves here. Oh, more Zyton 7. Definitely need that. Okay. I think we got enough iron for now. That's a lot of iron. I think we got all the gold we need. Um, Let me get another furnace going. And just start smelting some of this stuff while I'm searching for more ores. I can always come back to this location. So you know what? I can do it. Why not build a couple furnaces? Okay, get that going, and let's keep exploring these caves. There's a creeper. He sees me, but he has no good way of getting... Oh no, he does have a good way of getting over here. Let's get a good location going. Or he can get far enough away from him. Before he explodes. No, he exploded. Okay, my furnaces are good, though. That's all I care about. Gravel. Uh, I think gravel is one of the things we don't... Oh, perfect! Silicon. Yes! How much of this do we need? We need five silicon. We have five silicon. Yes! Uh, if I had more wood, I'd make a chest. But anyway, uh, there's these sonic crystals that we need. Let me get some of this gold going. There's some steel. Okay. That takes care of that. And is there anything else I need to mine for? Pretty much just steel. So I might find some Cybermen uh, at night. I can get steel from them. And there's some lava. Yeah, I think uh, steel and diamonds. So I'm gonna... more silicon. I'll take it. Okay, I think we got everything we need along there, so yeah, I just, I really need to find diamonds and steel. I will stay down here hoping for steel until I find at least a few more diamonds, that way I can get to the nether. Otherwise, I guess I can always do it with uh, the bucket and water and lava. But I'd rather not do it that way if I can help it, so di I need two more diamonds, shouldn't be that hard to find. Let's see how we're doing here. There's our gold and more iron, okay. Uh, actually, I got enough iron. Let's uh, get let's get some iron going, or armor going. Because if I'm going into the Nether, I'm going to need some protection. We got food. We got everything we need except for those diamonds and steel. Uh, here's another cave I haven't been to. Looks like a dead end's up here though. What's this? Copper. I don't think we need that. But I'm going to take it anyway. I haven't seen this stuff before. Might just try to find my way back to the surface. But yeah, first I need those diamonds. So we will be going for that. Full suit of iron armor achieved. Now all I need to do is just look for diamonds. So this is a good place to start. Is any, what level am I at here? 17? Perfect. Let's just go down a little bit. I think we'll have better luck finding them at about 10 or so. Based on what I remember, and that information is long out of date, so I could be wrong. But let's hope we find some diamonds. Might have better luck if I head back to that ravine try to find some more caves, actually. Tell you what, I'll mine until this pickaxe is gone, and then I'll head back to the ravine. See if we can find any more exposed diamonds over there. And I'm not sure how much luck I'm going to have just mining randomly. And there it goes. Okay. Yeah, no luck finding diamonds. I'm not kind of... I'm not that surprised, though. I wasn't mining for very long. Okay, let's see what I've got over here. Okay, I think I've got just about everything I need. Let's head back to the ravine. Hopefully we'll have better luck finding diamonds over there. 
Okay, um... Let's get rid of that. Oh, there are diamonds. Perfect. I was wasting all that time mining earlier. There's a rose. Okay, we got enough for a pickaxe now. What am I doing? Why am I using stone? Okay, that's all the diamonds we need. If I could just... I'm going to stick around a little bit. Maybe I can find some more Zyton 7. Speak of the devil. I think we need one block and one piece, so... Not seeing any more of it. This ravine was a great find. I'm gonna get that diamond pickaxe going. We will worry... Oh, steel. That's the other thing I need. I forgot about that. Uh, let's head back over here. Try to get that steel. The bats are burning themselves. They're committing suicide. Am I doing that poorly at the speed run that the bats can't stand it anymore? Okay, there's a couple more pieces even. We got three more, and I think that's all we need. I think we just need six. Yes. Yes, we do. I should get my list in a better place so I don't waste time. Anyway. That's steel and diamonds. So, oh, speaking of steel. Creeper. Ah, Cybermat. That was close. Oh, and we got an electronic circuit. We need that too. Oh, that is good. Oh, no, there's another creeper. Move, move, move. Okay, good, 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 good. That, that was actually a really good thing to have happen. Provided I survived, which I did. Uh, let's get uh, this steel going. While I mine for some obsidian. This is the most unorganized I've ever been in Minecraft, and that is saying something. Diamond pickaxe, perfect. Let's get that obsidian going. We can now go to the nether. This is going pretty well so far. I wasn't sure how well this is going to go. Oh, my... Nope, got it. Okay, I thought my inventory was full for a second. I think I need ten pieces, right? I'm trying to do this in my head. And pretty much what we have to do is kill Ghast... Maybe find a fortress and get some uh, blaze powder, or try to find a village and trade for an Eye of Ender. Either way, we need an Eye of Ender. Yeah, that and Ender Pearls are going to be the biggest things we have to find yet. And we have actually precisely a dozen pieces of, of obsidian here. Great. Or Baker's Dozen, if I can count correctly. Either way, that should be more than enough. If I fall into lava now, that would just be horrendously embarrassing. Okay, we got plenty of steel. We have one electronic circuit already. That's going to save time. I just need more Zyton, but I will come back for that. I'm going to go back to the surface because I need to get a chest to put these things in. And I need more wood for that. Plus, we might be able to find some mobs up there if it's night. I'm also going to need, like, sugar cane for paper because we have to craft an empty map. But things like that. But I will get, uh... All that's sorted out once I have all the raw resources that I need. Okay, that was extremely successful. Wow. I did not think it would go that well. Uh, let's get another tree chopped down. I hear Cyberman. Yes, 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 yes. I need a Cyberman to kill. Oh, it's one of those uh, new ones. No, that's an Earthshock Cyberman. He dropped nothing. I need him to drop something. Ugh. Let's get a chest. That way I don't lose all my stuff if I die. I accidentally used it all up, but anyway, uh, that's the stuff we need. Uh, do I, did I keep a furnace on me? No, I didn't. Should smelt down some of these ores, too. I, ah, uh, I keep accidentally making too many things. Okay. Uh, let's get these ores smelted. Here, pig. Also going to need an iron sword. Silicon, got it. Creeper. Creeper. And a 
hopefully I can find a bunch of Endermen and hopefully I can get a lucky find with a Nether Fortress. That's kind of the two things I need right now. But getting that electronic circuit from that Cyberman kill, huge... That saves a lot of time because I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get those on there. To just get the straight up circuits or have to craft them, so... I need a flint and steel to light the, the thing with. And I was just going on about how useless gravel is. Okay, let's head back down here. I'm pretty sure I had some gravel lying around that I could find quite quickly. Completely forgot about the flint and steel. I never thought I would there'd be a day when I'd actually be actively hunting for gravel. I completely forgot about that flint. I thought I ran into gravel a bunch of times before getting this far. Oh my gosh, it's an Enderman. Okay, I, I, can, I, can, I can do this. I can use that. Let me just make sure that I have a two block uh, tall height above me for a good ways before I aggravate him. I like Enderman, so I, I never like killing these guys. But, you know, when we're speed running, building a TARDIS, it's kind of necessary. Let's see if I can get his attention. Come on. There he is. He saw me. He's mad. He's like, how dare you look me straight in the eyes? Uh, the only issue is he's all the way down there. This is going to be difficult to do. Okay, there is one block above me there. Okay, I'm trying to stay in two block tall areas just in case he... He is mad. He is shaking with anger. Try this. Okay, great. This is working. Got him. Let's hope he dropped an ender pearl. Yes, he did. But we've also got a skeleton to worry about now. Don't know where he is, but there he is. Ow. It's my ender pearl. Ah, come on. Just gotcha. Did I get the I got the Ender Pearl. Okay, that is one Ender Pearl taken care of. Wow. That was lucky. Okay, I came down here for gravel though, so let's keep looking. Now there should be another cave. I think that was farther down. Oh my gosh. Thank goodness that wasn't into the lava. Okay, here's where all these caves were. Gonna make that a bit safer given all the skeletons around. I know there is gravel in here. There we go, finally. This I remember. All I gotta do is get one flint. So I can light that nether portal. Come on. There we go, flint, finally. Okay, let's go. We can make flint and steel now. Okay, let's head back up. Hello, bat. Ah! Zombie! I just don't want these things knocking me into the lava. Ugh. That was close. Okay, let's head... Creeper... These things are falling from the sky. There's another creeper. Oh my gosh, this is bad. No! No! No, no, no! Okay, that's it. Now I'm dead. <laughs> that's exactly what I didn't want to have happen. The good news is I didn't lose everything. I did lose that ender pearl, though. Oh, oh I still have some iron. That was humiliating. It's not completely over yet, though. I would give up, but I put a bunch of stuff in that chest. Okay, so all we did, we lost the Ender Pearl and we lost the Flint. And I lost my Diamond Pickaxe. But that's okay. We, we, we still have everything we need. It's not over yet. I, I still have most of my stuff right here. Okay, I'm gonna get some more iron. There's plenty of iron down here. I should have been more careful around that Creeper. I just need uh, more iron for a iron suit and a sword and a pickaxe and all that fun stuff and then and there's lots of iron in these caves. And who knows, maybe some of my stuff survived actually. 
It's possible. If I was close to the edge of the lava, I don't know. Let's try to see. I doubt it though. I very much doubt it. Yeah, there's where the creeper blew up. That's one unfortunate setback. Hey, I, I still have a pickaxe. Wish it was the Ender Pearl, to be honest. Heck, I'd even take the flint. Yeah, everything else burned up. But I still have my iron pickaxe, so that saves me a little bit of time. As far as mining iron is concerned, but... Still, we have these caves here. With a lot of ores in them, so it's not the end of the world. As so we've got most of the stuff we need so far. I need enough of this for another set of armor. Because I don't want to go to the nether completely undefended. Okay, let's go back for that flint. Because we need another one now. Flint, gotcha. Okay. And my pickaxe survived, so I held on to one thing. Let's get some more of this. I'll have to go back to the surface, get some more food, build that nether portal. Oh, I didn't have the obsidian on me when I died, did I? Oh, I hope not. Oh, if I had the obsidian on me. Oh, I better not have. Oh, if I had that and I lost my diamond pickaxe. If I have to mine diamonds again. Oh, that is not good. Oh, that is really not good. I better not have had that on me. Just in case, I'm going to see if I can find some diamonds. If I get extremely lucky. You know, maybe mine right here and just run into a bunch of them while that iron is smelting. Because otherwise, if I'm just standing there, it's just a waste of time. But if I lost that obsidian, this is really going to... That's going to be a huge setback. Maybe what I should do is craft a bunch of buckets. Maybe I can find a, a lake or something and build a, another portal under underwater. Anyway, I'll head back up to the surface now. If I lost my obsidian, ah, uh, that should be enough to finish out a suit of armor. And I need more food anyway, and I'll continue checking. I'll check to see what I did with that obsidian. I was mostly concerned about uh, preserving the crafting materials that I needed for the TARDIS, then I didn't even think about the nether portal, so I'm pretty sure that obsidian was on me when I died. Okay, let's uh, try to get some more food anyway. Not such a big deal if this pickaxe is gone, but if I lost the obsidian, and I lost the obsidian. Oh, I need to find diamonds all over again then. Uh, do I have... I, I left my coal down there, didn't I? Ah, oh, disaster. Can't do much without that coal. Fortunately, I think there's some that's closer that I can mine. Yeah, I left a few over here. Here everything was going so well. Okay, I just need to find, uh, I think I already killed all those pigs. There should be a couple more down here at least. I remember seeing earlier. Yeah. Well, my food is gone. Diamond pickaxe. My obsidian. At least there's a lot of pigs here. Food's not a problem. Okay, that should do for now. Head back to my quote-unquote base. Which is a chest and a crafting table and some furnaces. Okay, there's food. I guess I need to go back down there and look for diamonds. Everything I got, though, I will leave up here. I'll get some more wood. Oh my gosh, okay. Uh, there we go. There's food, coal, I have iron armor, time to head back down. 
off we go to find more diamonds. Zombie. Take the iron. Ah! Creepers falling from the sky. Not again, creeper. Not again. Not blowing up and blowing me into lava again, okay? Running all the way back. Uh, let me just make this as safe as possible. Okay, there's a creeper. Okay, let's do this again. Alright, that wasn't so bad. Did knock me into lava again. Why didn't I put this flint away in my chest? Did I learn nothing? Ah! Now there's two creepers. Oh, uh, one of them. They found my bridge. Let's head back to a safe area. Ah! Oh, there's a skeleton. This is not fair. I can't even go anywhere anymore. I'm spending all my time running from creepers. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's back away from there. Fix all this. Let's get the other one. There he is. Let's hope that's all the creepers for now. Yeah, there are caves over here. There's also a bunch of lava that we have to put up with. Let's see what we got back here for starters. Okay, that's the end of the ravine. Yeah, there's a cave. Iron. Okay, now it's silent. Let's just hope for some diamonds and then get out of here. Which serves me right for keeping the diamond pickaxe on me and the obsidian. Okay, I'm gonna make a furnace and get some iron and smelt it so I can make some more pickaxes. Okay, iron in there. Make another pickaxe. Okay, let's get, uh, let's look for diamonds. Right here is fine. Let's hope for a single vein of diamonds, that's all I need. Okay. I need to come up with something better than this. Okay, how much iron do I have? I might have to go with this method. Fill some buckets with lava, find a pool of water. What the heck? Oh! My inventory's full. Well, that was a complete waste. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. So that is four. I had a source of water, too, but I don't. Well, no, I can make an infinite source of water. It's not so hard. I was going to say maybe I can build the portal down here. Okay, if I get two more buckets, then. Okay, let's see if I can actually do this. So, theoretically, if I get some water, place it down... And place a bucket of lava in there. The source block. That should make obsidian. Great. I can still make the nether portal without diamond. Why didn't I just do this in the start? It's a lot easier than I thought it would be. Okay, that and that, if we are lucky. If I can get a flint and steel going. All that diamond mining was a complete waste of time. Okay, this should work. Perfect. Okay, let's see what we got in the nether for us. Oh, 
we need is some ghasts and another fortress. Shouldn't be so hard. Hello, pink zombies. I need to mark my path, too, so I don't get lost all the way back to the portal. <clears throat> this is how I like to do it. I just mark my path over there. That way I don't get lost. There's a ghast. Yes, good. Oh, where is it? Hello, ghast. Come here. I want to make you cry so I can have your tear, okay? That's all I want. There it is. Perfect. Ghast. Yoo-hoo. Oh, ghast. <laughs> It despawned? Oh, come on. Well, there's a fortress. Let's go get some blazes. All I need is one thing of blaze powder. Okay, here we go. Find a blaze spawner, kill a blaze, don't die in the process, get out of here. Should be easy, I hear some blazes now. Oh, perfect. Blaze, yoo-hoo. Can I draw you out? Okay, but they do have a cooldown, so... But he didn't drop anything. And he didn't drop anything. And the spawner doesn't want to work. Does Minecraft know I'm trying to speed around this and it's intentionally wasting my time? Perfect. Nothing! Absolutely nothing! I want is some blaze powder. Okay, there's some blazes. Or at least one. Hello. Finally, a blaze rod. Okay, we got that. Now all I need is gas. Does it count if I change difficulty? I'm going to go into hard mode. Is that is that cheating or can I do that? Maybe that'll help these things spawn faster. If I hadn't wasted so much time on those diamonds. Might have been done by now. Okay, just need a ghast. Even one. Yes! Perfect. Where is he? There's a blaze. Gotta be a fortress nearby. Ghast. Where are you? There it is. Perfect. Gast! You big flying octopus, come here, you. Are you not even gonna shoot at me? Gast. Oh, gast! Oh my gosh, I was so close. Ow, right in my face. Gast, come on. Come on. Catch it, yes. Tell me he cried. I see the XP. I, I don't know if it dropped a gas tier, though. It's kind of hard to get down there. Ah, lava, 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 lava. It's going to despawn by the time I get over there. Wait, if I can bridge out... 
over there. Why didn't why didn't that occur to me sooner? If I can just bridge out here to where it's not so bad of a drop. For instance, if I go down here, boom. And all for nothing because I don't see a gas tear. Oh god. These blazes are letting me know I'm not welcome. Okay, let's see if I can find some mushrooms. Yeah, perfect. Red and brown. Okay, so what I need to do... Ow! What the... Stupid blaze! I'm gonna die now. Oh god. Oh my gosh, this is not good. I'm gonna surround myself in a little cube cubby hole here. What I need to do, all I'm trying to do is make some food. Oh, there he is. Oh, gassed. Gas, I'm right here. Complete and utter coward, that's what you are. Start shooting fireballs at me. I'm on soul sand and everything. I can't make this easier for you. Gassed. How does it not see me? And it's gone. Okay, time to head back up. Gonna keep searching for guests. Oh, look at that. A low stone just right next to the. Oh my god, it's an Enderman. It's multiple Enderman. I can do this. They can't get me if I'm standing right here. Let's aggravate them. Yep. Ah, they can still get me. But I don't think he dropped any... Oh no, he did drop an Ender Pearl. Yes. Alright, there's one more. Got him. He's aggroed. God, Enderman can go to the Nether now. Which makes perfect sense. And we get another Ender Pearl. Excellent. This trip wasn't a complete waste. And I hear a ghast. Is it? I don't think it's anywhere over here. Okay, all is not lost. If I can just get a guest here, we have just about everything we need. Oh, well, he found me. Perfect. Oh, guest. I've been waiting a long time for you to fly into that. Gotcha. Let's see if we got anything good. Does a gas tear fall down here? I'm gonna have to check. It's worth it just to check. Should be right, yeah, right there. Just a point of XP, no gas tier, nothing. Right? Yeah. Dang it. Ah! What the heck? Why am I on fire? Well, now we gotta wait around for another guest. Oh, there's one. Where are you, guest? There's one. Nice of you to spawn. Let's do this again, shall we? Ow, right in my face. Ow, right in my face. Yeah, that's it, come 
closer. Gotcha. Still don't see a guest here. Am I really that unlucky? XP, XP, XP. No, yes! Gunpowder and a gas tier. That's, that's it, that's what I need. Alright, time to get back to the nether portal. Just hunting ender pearls, it's gonna be the problem now. If I can go out, I already have two, if I can go out at night, find some endermen. As you can see, they're really not that hard to take care of, so. Where's the portal? I should have taken the coordinates. Oh look, there's another one. I don't need you anymore. Go away. Need to find my bearings. I laid down a bunch of cobblestone near it, but I think it's over around here. There's another one of my markers. This is why I lay down markers for where I when I go to the nether. Another Enderman right where I found the other one, so my thing is still here. Hello, Enderman. He's aggroed. Why don't you drop two Ender Pearls for me? Okay, that's three Ender Pearls, and there's another one. It's like this is an Enderman spawning chunk or something. Do those, do those exist? Either way, this is where they like to hang out, clearly. That's four. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. Oh my god, there's another one. I think I aggroed him. Yeah, here he comes. Here he comes. Oh my gosh, this is so lucky. I know there's another one down there. Yep, there he comes. I didn't think I'd be hunting the Enderman in the Nether, that's for sure. That is awesome. Is this it? Is this the portal? It's the portal. Alright. Bye bye, big men. And we're back. Oh, that was so lucky. Okay, let's head back to the surface and get my stuff together. I do- Ow! Yeah, fall into the lava. Good idea. I was going to say I don't quite have everything I need, but that's all the hard stuff out of the way. I just need a couple more under pearls. I need some glass, which is going to be easy to get. Sugar cane for a map. Yeah, this... If I hadn't wasted so much time mining for those diamonds or... If I hadn't died, uh, this, or if I'd just taken my obsidian out of my inventory, I could have spared myself a lot of- Ow! I am not dying yet. Okay, yeah, that, the nether stuff I thought was going to be the hardest part, so if I've got all of that, let's see if I'm right about the copper, though. We smelt copper ore, should give us brass. Steel, there's our gas tier. Yes, that gives us brass. Oh my gosh, that is so lucky. We just, I think we just need some ender pearls and some of the other minor stuff. I need some sand for crafting that end crystal. And we need sugar cane for some paper. Two, three, six, seven. That's all we need. Okay, just need sugar cane. Perfect. Sugar cane, sugar cane, should be everything I need. Anyway, all the hard stuff we've gotten, except for the ender pros. I'll have to recheck my list, but pretty sure we are really close now. Get this going, paper, and while I wait for it to get dark, going to start making some of the things I need. Okay, so I got my list here. We only need five Ender Pearls? Oh my gosh, then we have everything except for the Zyton 7. I forgot about that, but let me 
Get some of the stuff I need. Okay, the end crystal takes glass, gas tier, eye of ender. Okay. Um, how much iron do I have? Did I? I used it all up on the on the buckets, didn't I? Which isn't gonna be hard to find at all. It's actually the only limiting factor right now. Okay, okay. We are so close now. I left a bunch of it down here. I could have been done by now if I hadn't died. Oh my gosh. Um, there's iron right here. So consulting my list, I still need about 10 pieces of iron. Which is never something I really worry about. There's some. It's lying around all over the place. Okay, let's grab this. Get back to the surface. Get these things crafted into a good old-fashioned TARDIS. To a lovely little Type 40. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Got everything I need, I just need to craft it. Okay, here we go. Where's my iron? Right there. Okay, um... One of these. And where's my blaze rod? Gotcha. Okay, let's do this. Eye of Ender. Guest here, Eye of Ender. Maybe it's like that. Perfect. There is an end crystal. That's one of the things needed for a TARDIS. There is an empty map. That is another thing that is needed. Let's get that down there. There's a clock. Okay. That's another thing. Uh, the TARDIS shell, which takes six steel, sonic crystal, Zyton 7 block, and... Oh! Zyton. I need to mine more Zyton. Let me make another pickaxe. Shouldn't be so bad. I saw some in the ravine. How much do I have? I need ten overall. Block six, so I need four more. Okay. So on the far end of the ravine, I remember seeing some. So I think that's a good place to start. I swear I saw some over here. I swear. Maybe it was higher up than I thought. Huh. Oh, yeah. Now I remember. It was all the way up there. Yeah, that might not be worth getting to. You know what? I'm gonna try for it anyway. I'm gonna pillar up there. There's water so that I can fall into if a skeleton shoots me off. Or a zombie. What? Oh, no. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Oh, that was close. Am I close, though? Am I close to the Zyton? Eh, kind of, sort of. It's farther back, but it's hidden. Let's try that again. I know I almost died once, so it might seem foolish to try the exact same thing again. But didn't somebody say genius is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results? Or is that insanity? I'm hoping there's more than one block there, but it could very well just be one. just saw it. Where is it? Oh. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to build out over here. There it is. Zyton 7. Oh, there's two blocks. Excellent. Okay, that's 7. Oh, that is perfect. That's four more. That is all we needed. Yes. We almost fell off. Can I hop into the water, perhaps? Get down faster? Yeah. Okay, now the clock is ticking. Thing is, I definitely think I could do a better job than this, because if I hadn't wasted all that time mining for diamonds, forget the fact that I died. But the whole time and mining thing, and I just built the portal... That would have saved so much time. But honestly, I'm not done yet. I could carelessly fall off into the lava. If I'm not careful, or there could be another creeper, so... Now, don't count your chickens before they're hatched, but still... I think that's everything I need now. Because I had six up there. I have four now. 
Okay, so this speed run, I, I wasn't sure if it would be possible to complete in a time-worthy manner, but I think it it is, and I if I hadn't wasted so much time, I could have done so much better. As long as there aren't any Daleks, we'll be fine. Oh, and it, I think it's pretty close to the end of night time anyway. Okay, so that's Zaitan. Let's see what else I need here. So I need a TARDIS shell, which requires six steel, sonic crystal, Zaitan 7 crystal, Zaitan 7 block. Let me craft that block of Zaitan 7. All right, guys, and the audio kind of gave out here at this point in the video, probably because it was going for a couple hours already, and uh, the file size was getting too big, and so some glitches happened. My mic stopped working that, or I accidentally bumped the mic and broke it or something. But uh, anyway, at this point in the video, I was pretty much just finishing up the crafting recipes. So as you can see here, I am crafting the TARDIS shell. Just some of the basic things. So that's what I needed the Zyton 7 for. Really disappointed that I couldn't get my final reaction into the video here. But oh well. So as you can see, I'm very incompetently and slowly crafting things and wasting my time uh, pretty much. So I'm trying to figure out the crafting recipes. Uh, I didn't have a lot of pressure on this because this is the first time I was doing it, so I'm taking my time with the crafting in that. I'm not really worried about getting a, a great time or anything. I already made a, a number of mistakes uh, when doing this speedrun, so I wasn't exactly worried about getting hurrying up or doing going super fast or anything. I'm taking my time making sure I get the crafting recipes right and probably taking way too much time to do it stupidly, but looking back on it, but... Just going to go ahead and get these. The electronic circuits are very important here. And then in this, one of the important things is to get a chameleon cartridge. So I'm going to go ahead and craft that. That's what I needed the brass for and everything and the electronic circuits. And you also need a special item. I went ahead and chose nether quartz, which is going to make a hexon exterior. Just a generic item. You could use just about anything for that. So now we got all the components needed for the TARDIS. I'm getting attacked by a skeleton. You could hear it earlier on in the video, so I just go ahead and try to kill that guy as quickly as possible because he is now ruining my time for getting this TARDIS, which was pretty annoying. Anyway, back to crafting. So I'm going to go ahead and craft the final TARDIS here. And I don't know why I'm taking so long. I'm trying to make sure I have all the materials, I guess. But we're really close, and here we go. I am now getting the final components together, as you can see takes a lot of stuff, and I like uh, the complications that were added to the number of things you needed to build a TARDIS. It's a lot better than it was in the past. I believe earlier on I mentioned needing a beacon and just some wood. But anyway, here we go. Here we have the Hexon TARDIS. I go ahead, I place it down, and now that we can get our time, which was 2 hours, 44 minutes, and 28 seconds. I That can definitely be improved upon, but there we go. We have the TARDIS. It's a shame I could not get my original reactions recorded because the mic gave out. But anyway, there we, we have the Hexon TARDIS. I'm going to set the interior now and generate that. And that was really exciting to do. I wasn't sure if that could be done in a reasonable amount of time, but it could be. And in fact, I could have probably shaved an hour off that time if I hadn't been so incompetent doing some of these things earlier in the video, like mining for all those diamonds and that utter waste of time. Anyway, here we go. This is the first time I actually crafted a TARDIS and Dalek mod since 1.6.4. So it's pretty impressive. It was fun to get this. As you can see, I'm just walking around the interior now. And now we have the closing remarks, the final outro and everything. And pretty much what I just wanted to say in this is, uh, I want to challenge everybody else to build a TARDIS, or speedrun building a TARDIS in here. My time was horrible, over two and a half hours. That can definitely be improved upon. I had some good luck in there, and I did some really dumb things, including mining for all those diamonds and getting exploded by that creeper in the lava. All of that, I definitely could have shaved at least an hour off that final time. But this was my first time doing something like that, and I figured I was going to take my time, not panic over it or anything. And that time could definitely be improved upon, so I challenge everybody out there to beat that time. I want to encourage people to do this. Speedrun the Dalek Mod, building a TARDIS, beat my time. And I want to challenge the entire Dalek Mod community out there to try to do that. So this was a whole lot of fun, actually, and it was really great to be able to... Just do that speed run, uh, go through the crafting process, uh, explore that a little bit. I like how they incorporated different vanilla materials like the end crystal, but also a lot of modded stuff with building the TARDIS. It's a heck of a lot better, as I was saying, than the old way of doing it, and it makes a lot more sense than the beacon and the wood, or I think it used to involve a whole bunch of lapis lazuli in that. So it was a lot more fun to do it this way. 
and I had a great time doing it. Again, this time could be improved upon. Uh, and then just to close up the video, everybody have a great day. Uh, stay safe out there, uh, and I'll see you all in the next video. So goodbye for now, everybody.